This tutorial will walk you through how to add sources to your project. First, begin by clicking on the project title that you've already created. Next, select Sources at the top. From here, once you've entered in your sources, it will start a list for you. However, since this is my first one, I will go up to Create New Citation in the top left corner. Next, you have to decide where are you getting the source from. You are provided a handful of the most common, and you can also click Other if need be. Typically, most of your sources are going to come from a database or a website. For mine, I am taking it from the Opposing Viewpoints and Context database. Therefore, I would select Database. From here, you choose where it was originally published. Typically, you're going to always choose Original Content and Database. However, you may choose Journal, as this is also where most databases will come from. Now you're provided with a format for which to fill out as you continue to work through citing your source. Depending on what database you get your source from, moles can be transferred directly to your Noodle tools. For instance, in Opposing Viewpoints, if you click Citation Tools, select MLA 8, and go to the Export option, you are able to export directly to Noodle tools. You do need to have Noodle tools up, however, to do this. Next, it'll give you the citation, as well as ask you which project you want it under if you have more than one. Make sure you choose the correct project. Then you simply import your references. Now, if I were to go back to my sources, it is listed there. Not only is it listed, but everything is cited correctly and formatted correctly. Italics are where they need to be and the link is still provided. It also provides at all, since this source has more than three authors. If you were not entering this source manually, or sorry, if you were not exporting the source, you would need to enter it manually. You also have the option to simply copy, create new database, original. There is a copy and paste selection. So you could do that, copy and paste it in there, and then hit submit. This will also format it the correct way still see that everything that is supposed to be italics is still in italics. You have two different options for doing this. If the database allows you to export it, you should choose Noodle Tools. If you are able to get the citation and it is correct, you can also copy and paste it. This way, you avoid missing any of the essential information that is needed to cite. Please double check the site that you are on. As far as databases, some will export directly to Noodle Tools. However, not all of them are capable of doing this. So please double check before citing your sources. 